Back with Coach Mora, I'm Avi Nessa, and it is week eight of college football. The Huskies will travel up to Chestnut Hill to face off against Boston College. Coach, it's a new week. You're looking ahead to Boston College. It'll be the second year in a row that you face them. What are your overall thoughts? Well, I think it's a different Boston College team than we faced last year. Um, they've added some pieces through the portal. Uh, they've got some guys back that were hurt when we played them last year. They're big and physical up front. Uh, they, you know, they've kind of transitioned to a different type of offense. You know, they're very quarterback centric. Their quarterback leads the FBS in rushing yardage. Four quarterbacks. Uh, they've got playmakers at receiver. Defensively, they've always been physical and aggressive. They're playing a lot more man and uh, and bringing pressure. So, you know, it, it's going to be a, a heck of a challenge. They're coming off a great win against Georgia Tech on the road last week. They're four and three, and uh, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. I want to start off by talking about Cam Edwards. He rose to the occasion last week after Victor was sidelined. He had two touchdowns, 149 yards total. Can you just talk about Cam's growth and how much he stepped up to elevate the offense to become one of the team's most relied on running backs? His growth has been remarkable, really from the day he got here until now. Um, he's like, he, he's, a, he's a different kid, you know. When he first got here, he was, he, he was a little immature, which is very normal for a kid coming from high school and he was playful um, and, and didn't take everything as serious as he needed to. And over the off season, you know, he, he got it, he figured it out. And you just started to see this transformation, which is one of the great things about coaching this age of kid is you get to see them transform. He became serious and he, he, uh, he still is playful and he's still got that great personality, but uh, he has really risen to the occasion, like you said. You know, we've had obvious issues with our with our running backs in terms of guys leaving the team and now Victor's injury. And so he's had to shoulder the load and it, he shouldered it, you know, and he shows toughness and desire and he's serious and he's, you know, the kind of guy that inspires you, I know as a coach, to keep doing this because you love to see the progress he's making and the effect he's having on all of us. Absolutely, looking at the Eagles, They've come out on top of some very competitive matchups. They're on a three-game winning streak, and their defense adds a lot of pressure. They forced three interceptions against Georgia Tech last week. As take one is improving each game, so how are you preparing your offense to take advantage of every down and advance the football and just move the change forward against Boston? Against a team like this, they're going to have some negative plays against you because they're aggressive and they play you physical and they play you tight um, in the secondary. It's just making sure we do a great job of making good decisions, taking care of the football, fitting it into tight spaces. I think like always in any offense, in any game, you have to be able to run the ball. Um, and hopefully we can do that. I think it's really important as a team that we help our offense by giving them field position in the kicking game, by hopefully getting some takeaways on defense where we set them up field position so they don't have to go the distance every single time. Uh, it's hard for any offense to do that, especially against a defense like this. But I've loved the improvement that Taekwon has made. I mean, it's, uh, I think he's the 16th rated quarterback in the country in terms of uh, quarterback rating. And uh, I don't think many people know that. And it just shows this growth. And it's so fun to watch him grow and get better every week and watch his confidence grow and the team's confidence in him grow and, and Nick's confidence in him grow. It's what we wanted to see. On the other side of the football, BC has a very strong and crafty quarterback. He can run, but he can also get the ball down the field if he needs to. I know you want to limit some of the mistakes and clean up some of the things on defense from last week, but also last year, I know that defense was one of the ultimate things that led you to the win against Boston behind Jackson Mitchell. Mm -hmm. But how important is it against a team like this to present a strong defensive core to limit the runs that you know they're capable of? It's, it's very important. I mean, they're, they're a great running team. And as you said, this quarterback is crafty and he's quick and he's, he's got great acceleration and he can throw the ball. And if he just gets a little sliver of space, he can take it the distance. And so it's a totally different offense than they ran last year, completely different. It's really a different offense than they ran the first two weeks of the season. You know, they've, they've grown in their scheme as their quarterback has grown. And they brought in a guy named Rob Chadzinski who coached uh, Cam Newton at the at the uh, Panthers, and so a lot of the run game is some of the stuff that he did in the NFL with Cam Newton. So, uh, you know, we have to be very, 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 very disciplined with our eyes and our planter and our leverage against a quarterback like this, or he can hurt you in an instant. Yeah, one thing I know you take pride in about this team is the attitude that they present every week. 
Obviously, it hasn't been the smoothest slate, but I don't think that reflects the team's talent and the potential that you guys have. How do you try to keep the player's mindset positive and motivated to keep pushing through the challenges? I think that, uh, you know, I, I tell them a lot, and you hear a lot of it, you know, like my wife calls it the Sunday sermons, you know, and we, when I talk to them Sunday nights just about the game and about mindset and what we need to do to grow. And, you know, I try to right now impress upon them a couple of things. Number one, growth comes in the struggle. And number two is in a football game, it's about the details. And it's about the opportunities that you create through those details and then capitalizing on those opportunities. And unfortunately, last week, um, we had several opportunities that we put ourselves in because of effort and then we didn't make the play. And, you know, we have to be able to make the play and we have to, as a coaching staff, continue to try to find ways to put our players in the best position to make those plays. And then they've got to make them. So it's all of us, you know, just trying to reset every week, refocus every week, whether we win a game or lose a game, come back with the same approach. And that's get better every single day and go out and play our best on game day. Right. The Huskies will take it to the road, travel up north to face off against Boston College this Saturday, October 28th. Kickoff is at 12 o'clock noon on ACC Network. Until then, Coach, thank you so much and best thank of you. luck. All right, thanks.